This gentleman right here. Thank you, sir. My name is Michael Shore. I'm here in Charlotte. First, it's an honor to have you here with us today. I'm concerned that your decision to allow offshore drilling could have the effect of chilling investment into alternate sources of energy. And I'm interested in what incentives you're going to be proposing to establish the conditions and to stimulate research and development and expansion of that critical sector. Well, I think that's a great question. We invested in wind. We invested in solar. We invested in biomass. We invested in research and development. We invested in battery technologies. Here's the challenge that we have.
So what causes this double? What is it that's being transmitted and received? And that's where that red pyramid comes in. This pyramid is representative of what we call flux fields. We have electricity at the center of electricity is magnetism. At the center of magnetism is a flux. It's a higher dimensional energy known by many names such as dark energy, tachyons, monopoles, gravitons. We call it etheron energy. It's the energy that's keeping us conscious and alive. And it's not a static or stationary energy. It's a pulse, it's a surge, it's the beating heart of all existence. It's the ultimate fundamental particle in the universe, the God particle, and I know how to harness it. This energy is the source of all time, motion, and vibration. It's the only thing that comes from the whole, the zero, the center of the cyclone. It emanates linearly in all directions, penetrating everything without any resistance. It cannot be shielded. As it penetrates, it leaves a grain. It shows you how things move, how they stick together or come apart. It animates everything. It's the source of the non-decaying spin of the electron. If you combine it with a coil, you get a perfect mathematical vortex consisting of a positive electromagnetic energy radiating out and a negative backdraft counter space, which is the same as gravity, allows for contraction. Etherons are literally the glue that holds the universe together. Einstein called it an inertia ether. Ultimately, when this is arrayed in true 3D shape, which is what I discovered, it just forms a shape commonly known as a torus or a donut. This is nearly 20 years later. What I found was this. Essentially, this thing is a heat sink. It's a temperature regulator, just like your human body. The universal geometry designed for maximum efficiency and energy transformation, and an ecological method by which the universe reprocesses matter, using it as a coolant source to bathe itself at the core of a black hole and then dissipate, dissipate heat away out of a white hole, based on compression, decompression, just like we use to control temperatures and technologies like refrigerators. The Big Bang was just one of these reactions giving birth to this expanding universe, which is expanding because we're on the southern half. The northern half is contracting. As space expands, time contracts, black hole to white hole. The torus is what everything becomes at its maximum acceleration. This experiment you're going to watch while I finish my talk, I want you to keep in mind when you're watching this magnet spinning around, there's no energy going into this coil. It's totally turned off. And I'll continue. Your blood cells are a torus, DNA is a torus, magnetic fields, galaxies, all toruses. That's why a tornado is more powerful than an atom bomb. It's a one-way living, systemic electrical machine, a self-sustaining jet, you might say a flying saucer. I found a way to calculate this torus in a perfect 3D, 4D, and higher mathematical hologram that can be scaled up and down to infinity, which we now call the Abha torus. But sometimes we refer to it by Marco's name, which is the Flux Ruster Atom Pulsar Electrical Venturi Space Time Implosion Field Generator Coil. And with it, it's possible to create a localized space time implosion, a controlled desktop black hole. That magnet's still spinning, there's no energy in the coil. This is the final technology, the Philosopher's Stone, a reactionless drive unaffected by any weight that it carries. It's a true model of an atom, and with it, I have the key to the periodic table professor from the University of North Carolina told me could be the greatest scientific discovery of all time. We can, for the first time, cross from one science to another, unbroken, whether it's subatomic physics, periodic table, computer science, DNA. Remember, I said cure all diseases, artificial intelligence, all the result of deep around flux fields. And so simply put, this torus does it all. It's a blueprint for a perfectly efficient magnetic field generating coil, a spaceship, a surgical tool, a supercomputer, and even a high fidelity speaker all in one. Are such things possible? Frankly, yes, they are. And my team is ready to develop them at any time. What you see here was just from the most primitive approximation of my work. But the truth and reality of our project is it suffered from a tremendous lack of attention. It has been peer reviewed by some of the best names in science. But because of our unwillingness to sell it out for private interests, it remains in the hands of exhausted volunteers like myself. Our goal is to create a grassroots energy and technology revolution by turning this information, this knowledge, over to the public in an open source project. Science museum exhibits for kids, simple book, simple DVD, that's all we're looking to do. And by that, we want to turn it into the hands of the people to produce and save the whole world. Thank you very much.